Welcome to you. You can read the title. Uh, uh, Sweet No Death. No clue. It's very pink so far. I I don't know what else to say, man. I don't know what you want from me. Forced cannibalism. Wow. <laughs> Isn't all cannibalism technically forced? Once upon a time, there was a small woodland town in a land where the grasses grow pink and the trees hold yellow leaves up to the sun as if to mirror her. In this town lived many animals who would spend their days frolicking along the grass and their evenings gazing up at the stars. And one very fateful night, a star fell. A shooting star that had blazed its way across the galaxy. It shone brighter than anything they had seen. It landed right beside their quaint forest town. And then, something quite curious happened. From the remains of the comet emerged a magical star witch. The animals were curious to ask her all sorts of questions. Who are you? Where did you come from? She answered that she was a blessing from the stars, gifted with all kinds of magical powers. She promised to use this power to make their lives as happy as can be. Using her magic, she turned a once pleasant community into an even more delightful one, creating many friends in the process. And so, they all lived in magical harmony. Until... <laughs> Ah, good morning, world. Always a pleasure to wake up to you. Here's to a good day today. Now, what was I doing today? Ah, wait, right, right, right. Raj wanted to meet me down by the river for a picnic this morning. I should start heading over there after I do my garden work for today. Classic RPG Maker stuff. Alright. We shave. Good. A cauldron. Use it to whip up potions and other magical concoctions to help your animal friends with whatever ails them. Feel like you've been using it more than usual lately. Your bed, it's soft as starlight. The basket was a gift from Ruby. Candles were a gift from Raj. These plush, the star plush was a gift from Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop was the first person to give you a present after you arrived here. You remember him being a bit sheepish presenting it to you? The puns already. He said that he hoped you would think of him when he hold it. You do. Top chair for sitting with guests. You invite people over, but they usually But they're usually the ones inviting you out. This oh The style of this one is uh not what it, Style of this one is exactly what you would expect from the front. Nice. Oh, you grew in beautifully. I'll take a little water, a gentleness magic sprinkle, and there you go. You should be for the next few days. Perfect, perfect. You ought to check on your garden first, but I just did. Oh, my moon daisies aren't supposed to be this color. You aren't sick, are you? Yeah, I got you. There you go, feel better? I'll leave the actual magic for you. <laughs> Goodness! How pretty you are. I could stare at you all day. But I'm a bit busy for that. A little magic for you? There we go. <laughs> so all percent. You're gorgeous. A bit of magic for you, and that's all you need. <laughs> oh gosh. I haven't been spending too long on my flowers, have I? Let's- let me get going. Perfect. We are finally able to leave and explore this nightmare. Lamb chops Venus flytrap. Aptly named Venus. It looks like she's been recently fed. Jars full of various types of small candies. You're never sure how much lamb chop sells in a day. Hello there, sir. Good morning, lamb chop. Hi, sir. Can I help you with anything today? No, no. I just wanted to say good morning. Didn't feel like... Didn't feel right not to check on you. You're my friend, after all. Is that so? Oh, you are... Well, aren't you the sweetest? 
Do you have any plans for today still? You're always quite busy. I do. I'm actually on my way to meet Raj by the river right now. He invited me to... <laughs> He invited me to a picnic. I think he wanted my approval for some of his cooking. <laughs> All right. I remember Raj telling me about this. I even gave him some candy earlier for you guys to share. You did? That's very nice of you. Are you doing anything? Other than running the candy shop all day? Oh, I am. indeed I am. After the store closed for the night, I'll be heading over to Ruby's Bakery. We're going to try workshopping a new pie recipe for the next group picnic. <laughs> I'd like to see you and Raj try beating us when it comes to the culinary arts. Oh, really? Gosh, that sounds like it'll be lovely and delicious. Would, um, I be able to help you guys? Maybe? No, oh, it's really not necessary. We'll be fine on our own, I promise. Ah, well, if you say so. I had to get going. I don't want to keep Raj waiting too long. Right. See you later, Stella. Have a great morning. Yes, you too. Oh, I accidentally started the dialogue again. Oh, never mind. We're good. Fine. Uh, Stella, there's no need for you to come behind the counter. I can get you anything you need help with. Okay, goodbye. Mr. L Mr. Lamb Man. River ahead. Let's go upwards. Plenty of coins line the bottom of the fountain. Wishing on a fountain seems pointless with you around, though. Hey, don't take the joy out of everything. Yeah, I, I get that you can cast basically anything, but just let people have nice things. Just, just let them keep their hope. You don't need to see Ruby in her bakery just yet. Residential area. Let's see here. What's in the residential area? See. Acorn's house. You knock on the door, but it appears they aren't home right now. Fox house. Okay, well. That was... The neighborhood stretches outwards, but you don't need much... You don't need the much... <laughs> the neighborhood stretches outwards, but you don't need to go much further than here. Perfect. All right, let's go over to the lake. See, what? Oh, then. Yep. That makes sense. No, we aren't doing this. It isn't that kind of story. Oh, Raj, where's your head at? <laughs> that was a very Franbo-esque dialogue, honestly. <laughs> nice. Ah, ah, I think I found it. Ah, there you are. Collected Raj's head. I'm gonna... Rehead you, I guess? There. That's all the blood done away. With a quick spell. Now, to put your head back on your neck. All right, now we just... Perfect. Ah, hello, Stella. You made it just in time. Raj, are you okay? Yes. Why? Like, you feel fine. Nothing hurts you or anything? Um... I... I suppose I... have a bit of a headache? But that might just be from me tripping onto the ground earlier. You tripped. That's all that happened? I know, I am no, I'm not usually so clumsy. Which, uh, also brings us to the bad news. Bad news? What kind of bad news? See, when I tripped, I was, uh... Kind of a nasty fall. And because I was so close to the river when it happened, well... I kinda spilled all of our food into the river. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Raj, that isn't that isn't bad news at all. Hmm. The important thing is that you're safe. I'm really sorry to ruin our morning plans like this. Goodness. If only I looked where I was going. Yeah, if only you looked where you were going. Raj, really, this isn't a problem. 
What about you? What are you gonna do for breakfast now? I have plenty of food at home. And speaking of home, why don't you head home too? You said you had a headache, right? You had to just lay down and rest. Maybe use some of that medicine I gave you at the store. It's sounding too much like a different character. No. It follows me everywhere. Hang on, let's not, let's not do this now. If you need more, just tell me. I'll make another batch. <laughs> Don't worry, Stella. I think I've got... I still got enough. You know best. And a nap doesn't sound nice right now. But promise me, we can do this again soon. I definitely won't drop anything next time. Probably. Hmm. I should look around a bit. Is there anyone else around here right now? I, I think that's a bit better than, uh... The other monstrosity. So, uh... Does the magic just stopping everyone from dying is the moral of the story I'm getting so far? Lamb Chop, are you dead yet? No? Okay, goodbye, Lamb Chop. If you don't die, I will murder you myself. Nothing for Woody. Oh, hello there. Oh my gosh. Hi, Stella. Hi. Hi, <laughs> hey, Icon. How's your day? Is it going well? Do you need help with anything? Actually, my day could... probably be a lot better. <laughs> oh, why do you say that? Is there anything I can help with? Uh, maybe. I don't know. See, I need some help watering some starflowers at my yard. Oh, starflowers are my favorite. <coughs> Don't I know it? I borrowed this watering can from Buck the other day, right? So, of course I wanted to give it back to him. Now that I'm done using it. But, uh... He hasn't been answering his door all day. I, uh... Actually haven't seen him anywhere all day, even. Though I went looking for him. He... He wasn't in his usual place, and no, and no one I ask has seen him. Really? Nobody at all? No. Nope. Well, maybe Lamb Chop has, but he didn't give me a straight answer. How do you mean? I mean, he kind of seemed to be in a grumpy mood today. I stopped by earlier and asked him about Buck, but he was halfway into the bakery of his store. Ah, <laughs> man. You know, honestly, there are some areas that do indeed eat squirrel, and I feel like joining that right now, but like the murdery kind of way, not the, not the other way. He said he didn't have time to play with me, look for him or whatever, and that he was busy. I asked if I could at least see what he was busy with back there, but he said it was a super secret. No boys or girls allowed. No boys or girls allowed, just... Just lambs. I reminded him that I'm not either of those. Ah. And he slammed the door in my face. That's rude. Right. <laughs> well, that's not very nice at all. Ah, it's not too bad. I think he's just antsy after all. I'm sure he didn't even mean it. I'm probably just taking it the wrong way. I don't know what he would... Be getting so stressed over, though. Life here is a dream. Life could be a dream. Especially with you around. Well, I think it's a just stress then. You know, speaking of Lamb Chop, I feel completely silly. Silly? Yes, I stopped by the store this morning. And I completely forgot why I was in there. That I wanted to pick up some candy for myself. Ah, I see. Yeah. I think you should go see him again. If he's in a grumpy mood, I think seeing you would cheer him up. You think so? What makes you say that? Because seeing you always cheers me up. But also, I think you're his favorite out of everyone. I mean, I think we all kind of think you're the best, but... I think he's always liked you the best. The best. Ever since that first day you got here. That's sweet. I won't waste any time, then. I'll go see him. I hope you're gonna find Buck in the meantime. 
You and me both. I feel like Buck is very dead right now. <laughs> Yo, you know I'm right here if you wanted to say hi, right? I'd let you come over for a visit, but wouldn't you rather enjoy the beautiful day outside? Uh, no. I mean, we've already seen one dead body, so... Can't be... That cool yet. Alright, bud. Oh, that, that's Ruby's, right. Sorry, sorry. Everything looks the same here. <laughs> Hi again, Stella. Hi again, Lamb Chop. Did you just have lunch? It looks like you have some jam left on your face. It's blood. Uh, excuse me? It's blood. Well, do you... Do you need help cleaning it off? No, I'm fine with it there. Thank you, Lamb Chop. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are you sure? Hmm. Well, if you're gonna make such a fuss about it... So, what is it you came back in here for? I just wanted to check on you, that's all. So, did you murder Buck? Please tell me you murdered Buck. Ah, uh, you really do care about me, don't you? Well, Stella, as much as I love to see you, I ought to stop prepping to close up shop. I have to make sure I've got everything I need for when I meet up with Ruby in a bit. But I'll see you tomorrow, won't I? C certainly. Are we not gonna see Ruby? Are you just gonna murder her? I better go check on her before he gets there. She must be in the bakery if she's waiting for him, right? Okay, goodbye, Lamb Chop. Let's go over here and stop this My Little Pony world from dying. Ruby! Stella, you never say my name right. It's Ruby. You gotta say it with a Roo. Like a Roo. A Roo. A Roo. A Roo. A Roo. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, this just gave me flashbacks to something. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. A Roo. <laughs> Okay, uh, Little Red Riding Hood, let's see what's happening here. So, Ruby, there was actually something I wanted to talk to you about. Lamb Chop is coming over tonight, right? So, to try out new recipes and stuff? Would you want me to stay in hell? I know my way or two around the kitchen, you know? Oh, um, no, that, that's okay. I'd, uh, rather be a surprise, yeah. Ah, right. I, I forgot you like, like, Lamb Chop. <laughs> Hey, hey, that's not true. It's not? So you don't care about having alone time with them after all? Well, well, maybe a little. Yeah, you, you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like you're gonna die. <laughs> I see, I see, I get it. Well, I don't want to intrude on you if you don't want me to hear for it's just... But please be, stay safe, won't you? Of course, Stella. I always keep things safe in the kitchen. And I've never forget my oven mitts. R right. Uh, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow, Stella. I'll make sure you save extra for you. I'll mean the world to me if you... Like what we come up with. <laughs> you know, I... Uh, it's kind of funny in a weird way. I like it. I like the tone of it. There's dozens of sweet treats underneath the glass. You're always surprised by how much Ruby can turn out. By yourself. What's in mysterious door? Oh, okay. I, I won't go into the mysterious door. Evening. Sunset. It's getting late already. I better... I suppose I better go home then. Let's go check on everyone real quick to make sure there's no more death happening around here. But, uh... I feel like there's some big death happening around here. If I had to guess. It's bedtime, isn't it? It... The sun's still out. Why... Why is it bedtime? That... Do we sleep at, like, five?
Hmm, I'm already for bed. Gosh, what is he doing right now? I should... Oh, lamb chop. I hope you're not being too rough on her. She's softer than the others. Good morning. I should bring Ruby breakfast today. I'm sure she's hungry after working with Lamb Chop all night. <laughs> oh, mm, 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 nah, mm. Okay, yes, this should be more than enough. Don't worry, Ruby. If anything really went wrong, I can fix it. What'd you grab? Just like... Just gonna... Duct tape her head. Flowers. Okay, the flowers are good. we make sure Ruby is okay before anything else. Can I go explore this way, or do I have to go straight to Ruby? Okay. I shall go straight to Ruby. Who's day? Oh, hey, you're alive. Ruby, I was wondering if I could have breakfast. Oh, no, Ruby. Sorry, Spell. I I'm not really hungry right now. Oh, Ruby. Can you bring me a pot, Ruby? Uh, okay. Did you- did you eat a bit of lamb chop? Now that- now that's something. Now, Ruby. While I'm preparing this, do you mind telling me what happened? I- I didn't mean to. I- I did- I didn't want to do it. I- am sorry. I- I- I shouldn't have. But- but I- mm. Hey, hey, calm down. It's okay, Ruby, you're safe, and I'm here to help you. You- just tell me what happened if you can. Last night. So, did you- I- did you eat a good bit of lamb chop? Now this, and this, perfect! I'll be ready for when- Lamb chop, you're here! <laughs> I've been so excited to win. What do you want to try making first? Ah. Uh, wait, you've got a basket? What'd you bring? We can use that for the first pie before it goes bad. <laughs> Organs! What? What? You don't mind that I brought a friend for dinner, do you? Eat it. Huh? Did I stutter? Eat. It. What are you talking- You're a wolf, aren't you? Wolves eat meat. Eat it. You know, I was actually about to ask about how the ecosystem of, uh, animal people work, but I guess this kind of answered my question. Is that he is trying to bring the nature back into nature. You're- You can't be Lamb Chop. I, uh, I don't know who you are, but I- I never eat any of my friends. Never need anyone. Come on now, that's not true. Don't think I don't notice the way you look at me, Ruby. Everyone thinks you have a crush on me. That's not quite true, is it? I think you want to eat me. Though I suppose that might as well be the same as a crush in the end. With a- I mean, a bit of seasoning, garlic, like, maybe even some lemon sauce, you- You might be quite scrumptious. Oh, you meant to love something you don't want to destroy. Well, eat it already. So something's wrong with you. You're, you're crazy. Ruby, shut it. Be eat it before I make you eat it. Ah, oh, look. You made me get my hands dirty. Tastes good, though, doesn't it? I should hope so. It... It took a lot to get to this point. Oh, Ruby. You got such a beautiful smile. My, how ominous. I, I didn't want to do it, I, I pro promise. But he dug his hands to the basket and, and... Ruby, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you for telling me as much as you did. He, he was right too, Stella. It, 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 it is good. I wouldn't worry about that, Ruby. Interesting. That is kind of an interesting bit of a plot point, just uh, having the animalistic ways. All right, Ruby, I'm all done. Now let's wipe your face and drink this for me, okay? I promise you'll feel a lot better. 
Phil, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel so good. I feel like, like I gotta, excuse me. Hmm? Wow, I feel so much better. You were right. Oh, good. I'm happy to hear that. Now, may I ask you again about last night, just real quick? Oh, what do you want to know? Well, uh, what happened last night? Oh, well, Lamb Trump came over to bake pies with me. And? That's all I can remember, actually. <laughs> I'll tell you what kind of recipes we tried out, but I honestly can't recall. Call. Good, good. We just, uh, we just did the, um, Men in Black way. Good. Mind, uh... Actually, can we just... If we can make potions like this, can we just, uh, make potion to say... Can we just, like, make Lamb Chop ch chug a potion that gets rid of his murderous ways, or is that... Is that outside of the realm of magic? I mean, there is a good way to do it, and that is a bit of bleach in the mixture. Just, it gets all the job done. That's all I'm saying. It's kind of blurry, almost. All I can think about is how excited I was when I, when I saw him come through the door. Everything after that just isn't really coming to me. I may have been daydreaming the whole time. <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries at all. I'm just happy to see you smile about it. Though, I do wonder, hmm... I'll see you later, Ruby. I need to check on something. Okie dokie! Feel free to pick up any sweet treats for yourself on the way. Hmm. Can I have just, like, a croissant? No, I can't just steal a croissant from you? Darn. Oh, hello there. Buck. Wait, where did, he, where did he get the meat? From whom? From who did he get the meat? Ah, uh, Stella? Oh, Buck, I'm so happy to see you alright. Do you, um... This might come strange, but... Where did you come from? Oh, you noticed, huh? I thought I could sneak out undetected. It's, uh, really weird. I, like, went to go help Lamb Jobs something, and then I just woke up in Ruby's bathroom. <laughs> I don't know how I got there, and I didn't want to spook her, so I thought I could just sneak out the back. But I guess you caught me anyways. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, uh... Uh-oh. Acorn's been looking for you. They wanted to return your watering can. <laughs> I got it. I'll go look for them now. Man, that must be... <laughs> you can't keep doing this. You can't keep getting away with this. Now... What I'm kind of curious about is what goes through your mind if you just don't remember the previous day, then randomly wake up in a fr <laughs> in a friend's bathroom with no knowledge. Like I can imagine you uh, I can imagine you're going through some things. Like, <laughs> all right, Senor Chop. That makes sense that he is a Venus flytrap, actually. Hi, Stella. Good morning. Is everything okay, Stella? You seem a little grumpy. <laughs> you know I saw everything you did, right? Oh. Oh, uh -huh. did you? Did you like it? No, Lamb Chop. I didn't. And I fixed it. You? Did you think I couldn't help? I fixed all of them, Lamb Chop. No one's dead. No one's injured. They don't even remember it. Again. I fixed everything again. Stella, you even Stella, you even you even fucking bitch. I hate you. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna go murder me a lamb chop real quick, cause blood, blood, great, great. Ew. That's a lot of butcher knives you got there. Oh, why do you need so many knives? I, I... Even a professional chef doesn't have that many knives. I see you decorated more since the last time. Mm-hmm. How nice for you to notice. What is the, the meat from? I, I mean, I think you know what the meat's from, but... Lamb chop, we need to talk about this. <laughs> I should have eaten her myself. 
Maybe then we wouldn't ha be having this problem. <laughs> yeah. I'd like this you try fixing that. Lab job? <laughs> Stop eating people, that's morally incorrect. We're waiting for you on this side, lamb chomp. <laughs> Why do you keep doing this? Because I want to. Because I want to. Why else? That's not an answer. How is it it? Because you're not telling me anything when you say that. Fine. I do it because it's fun. There. Are you happy now? You think I'm stupid? I. I'm sure he would. I'm sure I know how lamb chomp would answer that one. That I'd accept you just wanting to do stuff because it's fun? How could anyone get enjoyment out of this? <laughs> You'd never understand it anyways. Get out of my shop. Get out of your mom! What are you still doing here? I thought I told you to- <laughs> Wow. I don't want to leave just yet. <laughs> That's just like you. It's always about what you want. The entire continent world is always about what you want. Uh, well, oh, what what I want? It's about what everyone wants. Everyone gets to eat good, feel good, be happy. What more could you be asking for? What more do you want? Murder. I want you to drop dead. This isn't the lamb chop I met when I first came here. You would have never said that to me. No, it's not. And he wouldn't have. But I'd like this one better. I guess you'll just have to deal with it, hero. You know what's funny? I never really thought of- I really never thought much of Ruby. Or really... I thought of her as such wasted potential. A wolf with pointed claws, sharp teeth, yet indiscernible from any prey animal. You have- you may as well have defanged her in the entire time you've been here. But last night, something happened. I watched her gnash away at what I th made out of Buck. And something about it. When I saw her like that, crying, her mouth dripping with blood, just her teeth were all red. It made me feel like the way it was meant to be, and looking at it, it's like I was overcome with this urge, suddenly one I've never felt towards her before. Hmm? And that is? I wanted to kiss her. D did you? <laughs> like I'm gonna tell you. It's more fun to watch you grapple with the idea. What, are you still wondering if I'll let tell you? <laughs> you know what, Stella? I'll tell you this. I've always wanted to kiss you a lot more. Gross. I mean, come on. You looked like an angel when you first got here. The way you spoke to us was nothing but comforting, and you had this unbreakable charm to you. Was I not supposed to be drawn in by something like that? I was enraptured by you, completely swept up in how absolutely above me you were. And now, I think that's just it. You always saw yourself that way too, didn't you? Sir, yeah, yeah, he's reaching, uh, steadily reaching nice guy territory, and I don't... <laughs> I, I respected you more earlier, I... When I think about how Ruby looked last night, it reminded me of you. I only wanted to kiss her because in that moment she looked so beautiful and I felt so... felt so real. And I realized that when you came here, it was like you were the first real thing to ever happen to me. And after all this time has passed, I realize that's even more true now. The way I am now. I feel like a person, like more of a person than I have ever been before. I see everyone else the way you have always have. How can you expect me to feel bad about what I did to Buck or to Raj to anyone? Am I supposed to feel guilty about what I did to Ruby last night? She isn't a person, not yet. Not the way, not the way that you and I are. But she could be. You could be if you'd let her. But who am I kidding? You won't even let me. But Stella doesn't want to be surrounded... Her, doesn't want to surround herself with people. She wants to surround herself with friends. Everyone here is your friend, right? And that's what I am to you, right? 
I am your friend? That's so funny. I don't ever recall you being mine. Excuse me? Hmm? How can you say that I'm not your friend? Everything I do is for you. Ah, Did that make you mad? You're really cute when you're mad, Stella. Kind of proves my point, though, doesn't it? The second something isn't the way you want it to be, you get mad. I mean, mur <laughs> granted, murder is a bit different than just uh, not going the way you want. I, I mean, it's... Uh, <laughs> There's a bit more of a fine line between murder and a bit of tomfoolery, so... Uh, imagine how I feel repeating the daily cycle of living in a sugar-coated hell. If anything, you should be happy it took me so long to get to this point. But no, you wouldn't be happy for me no matter what. Because the stuff that's fun for me isn't the stuff that Stella likes to see. And... Anything that doesn't fit in Estelle's ideal of a comfortable and perfect world has got to go, right? Yeah, I, I see what you're saying, but murder. Maybe it'd be happy for you if your idea of fun wasn't killing all of our friends and making them eat each other. Did you ever think about that? Of course I have. But then I thought about it more, some more. And do you really treat them that much better? You really have completely lost it, haven't you? Oh... You're funny. Who do you think I learned how to love from? If this is your idea of love, then I can't believe you'd even compare me. I don't love like this. Oh my stars. Oh my stars? You can't even see it. You're delusional. Explain it to me then. How are your ideas of love passably the same? Alright then. Let's take a look at the way you love. PowerPoint on. You arrive here on a fallen star, and the second you do, you take this entire town into your hands. Before anyone knows it, you're fixing all their problems. Problems they didn't even know they had. Problems they never e even asked for your help with. Suddenly, you're the center of our lives, of everyone's lives. They're planning the days around you, doing things that they'll hope will make you happy in the end. You've consumed their minds just like you did mine. And so, when I think about it like that, it's really clear to me. You have no idea how to love anything without eating it. And now, I'm not sure if I can see love any other way. So what animal is that? And just, I'm sure it smells very lovely in there. You know, Stella, I think we should get married. You and me, husband and wife, what do you say? We've already bound each other together in eternal misery. Might as well make it official. Maybe by the end of it, oh, we will finally eat each other, and then neither of us will be winners. My entrapped stuff this already. Can't you understand I don't want to want you to be miserable? Huh, <laughs> could have fooled me. You've been doing nothing but making me miserable for who knows how long. Yeah, no, he's no longer just a nice guy. He... He's gone even deeper. He's the nicest guy. <laughs> I want you to be happy, Lamb Chop. Of course I want you to be happy. But I can't get behind this. I just... I don't get it. Everyone else is happy with the way things are. So why can't you be? What is any of this doing for you? Oh. Now you're really starting to get on my nerves. You're not even listening to me, are you? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> why would you? Of course you're not listening to me, because I'm not saying what Stella wants to hear. You just once at once at once. It's all you've ever done from the moment you landed here. You just want what you want, and so you take it. With no regard for anyone here, because what do we want? We want what we're supposed to want. And what we're supposed to want is to make Stella happy. And if someone's not making Stella happy, there's nothing, there's something wrong with the thing Stella wants. Because Stella's beautiful, Stella beautiful, stupid, aggravating, celestial Stella can never think about anything other than what she wants. And she can't handle that for the fitting time since she got here. It isn't about what she wants, it's about what I want. 
I am back, and after thinking about it for a second, um, that is very stupid considering a lot of people just, uh, a lot of the characters in this game directly said, I don't want your help with this right now, so, uh, then what do you want? I want misery. I want death. I want a fucking life. Nothing has ever meant anything with your round. Not unless it was about you. We have picnics and it feels like nothing. We throw tea parties and festivals and there's nothing. I realized at a certain point that when you smiled at me, there was nothing behind those eyes. I had never been a person to you until all of this. I, we, all of us, have always just been accessories in your vision of a perfect world where everyone needs you to feel like you're great. But now, I'm somebody. I'm somebody and you hate it. I'm happy. And I'm doing something that makes me happy. It makes me happy even if it doesn't make you happy. That was a lot right there. And when you look at me now, you are seeing someone. And all I had to do was everything you hated, isn't that so funny? And the funniest part is that I feel like I finally understand you. Because when I watch these fuckers die, I've never felt more alive. Because now I get it. I finally feel what you felt all this time. Control. But I'm not supposed to. Feelings reserved for Stella, right? So she'll stop me at every turn, at every corner. And just like always, the story returns to being about Stella again. <laughs> Saying it out loud, there's an odd sense of joy in knowing you're just, an, you're just as awful as me. Maybe even more, when we consider everything that led up to us being here now. Maybe that's why I still like you after all this. Your mind's more fucked up than I than anything I can come up with. Yeah, that's it. That's what I still love about you after everything. I can never get out of how awful you are. I aspire to it. You know what sucks though? You're, there, there's a lot. Ha there's a lot of talking here. Let's. <laughs> Even this isn't going to last forever. You keep fixing whatever I do, and you keep wishing that I'll stop, but you'll get used to it. Just like that, I'll stop being a person to you again. Before I know it, you'll go back to seeing me the way you see everyone else. Just part of another part of the story, who repeats all of his old lines to you over and over and over again. Or we could just, uh, do that bleach and, um, gas lane combo. That would be a very good one for you. You know what sucks the- oh. Was that all? Did I get the full monologue? Okay, goodbye. I don't think I can do anything else. Maybe. Maybe there's still a way to make you happy too. Uh, no more happy-go-lucky music? Just... Just disappointment. Okay, goodbye. Let's go check the last thing or else. He's right. He's been my friend ever since I got here. But am I really allowed to call myself his? Friends try to make each other happy. Even if recently that's not the case. Maybe it's because I haven't been keeping up my end of the friendship, so... I'm sorry, what? Haha! Alright, what are you trying to pull? I'm not trying to pull anything. Then what's all of this for? You don't expect me to believe any of these blood and guts are real, do you? <laughs> You're correct, it's all just magic and decoration. Why? I thought you hated this stuff. Oh, I do! I think this stuff looks awful if it was up to me. I'd tear it down right now. But oh, you like it, and I'm your friend, and I care about you, and the feelings that make you happy. We live here together, and I don't want you to feel like you're nobody here. 
I'm also, uh, maybe hoping a bit that if you're happier, you'll stop killing everyone a little bit. <laughs> wow, Stella, you're right. You wanted, you wanted this to make me stop. Seeing it makes me feel more motivated than ever. Gosh, if what I do leads you to do all this, I need that the ante. I gotta keep going. I need to do things that was that really stink. <laughs> like like what? What what does that mean? <laughs> um, hey, that's not what I wanted. Come on, lamb chop. I'm doing this all because I wanted you to be happy. So do I. <laughs> Even still. Wouldn't you be happier with things this way, anyway? Excuse me? You like playing hero, don't you? How are you going- gonna do that when there's no villain? I like the decorations, by the way. They remind me of you. Very pretty. Goodbye, Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop? I'm happy that we're friends. You suck. I know you are. <laughs> it went well. Went well. The sheep said to the witch. And they lived happily ever after. Uh-oh. The end. Huh. <laughs> So how do we get the other ending? Because I know there's an there's another one. <laughs> but that was fun. Alright, let's see what other ending we have here. I'm assuming we have to go when we haven't heard everything. But I'm not sure. Ah, gotcha. That's the case then. So yeah. Separate ending. Let's do this. Murder time. Murder. Murder. Oh, Lamb Chop. I didn't want to have to do this. But you've given me no choice. You won't let me help you. So I'll have to do this my on my own. This is sounding a bit more like another character. Ah, good morning. Rise and shine. What a beautiful day it is today. I should go check up on Lamb Chop today. You might need a little help. Again, this is sounding a bit like another character. Don't worry about it. He's coming soon. Hello, Lamb Chop. Oh, you have different hair. Oh, good morning, Stella. Good morning, Lamb Chop. Are you doing okay today? You seem a little antsy. <laughs> Aren't I always? It's alright. I just, uh... I gave myself a bit of a paper cut this morning. It started bleeding, and I really... And it really icked me out, you know? I prefer to avoid blood when I can. <laughs> I see! I know how you get with blood. <laughs> well, you always know who to come to if you ever need a bandage or someone to kiss the boo-boo better. <laughs> oh, of course. Thanks, Stella. You're the best. Thank you, Lamb Chop. I'm happy to hear you think so. <laughs> Wrong end. Ba ba black sheep. <laughs> nice. So <clears throat> that is kind of interesting with uh the duality there. To me, that was kind of interesting. I do like the uh how neither neither ending is exactly preferable. Honestly, <laughs> it is interesting to kind of go over the more uh. Toxic sides between relationships that could happen. I mean, granted, amped up the 10, because I hope most toxic sides of relationships don't end in murder, but it was a fun, cute little game. To keep with the theme, let's have the comment section be as murdery as we possibly can. Alright, I'll see you guys soon.